What's up guys? I am at Tom's Coffee Shop with Paige. <laughs> Happy day two of Vlogmas. I hope that you guys enjoyed day one, the yoga challenge with Amanda, and that you got a good laugh from it. If you didn't watch it yet, go back on my channel. I promise you, you need to see this. It was very comical. I think myself, I've watched it over 10 times, and I laughed so hard when I was editing the vlog. I got in a serious ab workout, which was pretty much like 100 sets of just laughing my ass off. No better ab exercise than laughing hysterically, but it is day two of Vlogmas, and I'm starting off the day just catching up with some friends. I talked a lot in one of my previous vlogs about making time for yourself, for self-care, and making time for the ones that you love. We get so busy, and Paige and I are both very, very busy. We always talk about catching up, meeting for coffee, meeting for lunch, and then the next day passes, and the next day passes, and then the next thing you know, it's literally 2025, and we still haven't gotten together. So we made it a point today to actually meet for coffee. We sat down, we caught up, and then after we meet, I am going to take you guys along with me on Vlogmas Day 2 to the grocery store. We're gonna do a little bit of a grocery haul but the focus this time I want to share with you guys some of the things that I pick up to help me with digestion to help me with keeping my gut healthy and to help with bloating I know this is a big issue that I've talked about in previous vlogs and something that you guys have expressed that you're interested in I will take you guys to the store with me and show you everything that I get that helps me I would just also like to point out the fact that this is winter in California <laughs> I can hardly believe it, but my dad did just send me a screenshot of the forecast for the upcoming week. I'm leaving for Chicago on Sunday, and the high on Thursday is seven degrees. Only seven. Seven of them. That's it. So I'm definitely preparing myself for a freezing cold week ahead in Chicago, but it is okay. I am happy to be there with my family and be able to spend Christmas with them. I couldn't imagine not being home for Christmas, so I'm really excited about that. I picked up a Christmas present for my dad. He's like a super big coffee connoisseur. He loves um, just trying different coffees from all over. He does like the drip coffee, he grinds his own beans, everything like that. And the Tom's Coffee from the Tom's Coffee Shop that we were just at is probably one of my favorite coffees ever. So I decided to get him a bag of their coffee. All of the purchases that you make at Tom's, whether it be like their shoes, sunglasses, or even a cup of coffee, a lot of their proceeds go to providing clean water for countries that have that need. And with every bag of coffee you purchase, Tom's will give one week of clean water to a person in need. So I love that. I love being able to support a good cause and the coffee is delicious too. So Merry Christmas, Dad. All right, so I am off to the grocery store. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you everything that I have on my list that I make sure I'm always fully stocked on to keep my digestion issues minimal and make sure that bloating also stays down when you struggle with different food allergies and food intolerances. It's really important to have a few things kind of like in your arsenal to keep those issues minimal. I know personally when I'm struggling with a digestion issue, it's not only just about how I look. Yeah, I look bloated. The worst part of it is honestly how you feel. I describe it as feeling like there's literally a brick inside your stomach or that somebody put a balloon inside your stomach and just blew it up with air and it's just fully inflated. It's just a very, very, very uncomfortable feeling. So if that's something that you've ever struggled with, I encourage you to continue watching this video. Over the years, I have found some things through trial and also through research that work for me. I swear by them. I hope that they can help you as well. So we will call day two of Vlogmas beating the bloat. <laughs> So I just arrived at a local market here in Santa Monica and the first stop that I'm going to make at the market is to the juice bar. If you have a juice bar near you or a market near you that has a juice bar in it, that is fantastic. There are tons of really great juices that help tremendously with digestion. Alright guys, so I am ordering a 32 ounce bottle of celery juice. 
Um, I like to start my mornings with just a cup of celery juice. It really helps with inflammation in the gut, helps with digestion. Ginger is also incredible for digestion as well. You guys have probably seen this in previous vlogs before. I love doing ginger shots, so I am going to get a ginger shot while he is making my celery juice. Item number one that we're going to pick up are some organic blueberries. Blueberries are amazing for inflammation. I always try and get in a serving in the morning with my first meal. Dripping lights, paint the skies, only you. Stop number two is to pick up some kombucha. Kombucha has been known to heal the gut for so many years. My favorite happens to be the ginger aid. Check that out. If I'm not in the mood for a kombucha, another probiotic drink that I absolutely love is the Kavita Lemon and Ginger. So I'm actually gonna grab two of these, one for myself and one for Amanda. Probiotics are definitely essential to have in your diet. Next stop, something else that's really, really great for digestion and for the gut, healing the gut as well, is fermented veggies. I happen to absolutely love kimchi, all fermented veggies, tons of really great options. So I like to throw these on a salad or just with my meats. It adds lots of really, really good flavor. So try these out for sure. I was typically gonna go with the uh, salt-free kimchi, but then I saw this one, green blend of raw cultured vegetables. A healthy immune system is strongly linked to an abundant population of lactobacteria in the intestines. These friendly or beneficial bacteria help to counteract harmful bacteria and yeast in the intestinal tract. So as I just mentioned with probiotics, it's very important to have the friendly or the good kind of bacteria in your system to counteract the bad bacteria. Next thing, very important, coconut oil. Coconut oil not only is going to help with your digestion, keep bloating down, we need healthy fats in order to burn fat, so keep that in mind. It is really, really great for balancing hormones as well. So for all of my female subscribers out there, Coconut oil is basically everything you need. Unfortunately, this aisle is not on my shopping list today, <laughs> but I do like to enjoy a glass of red wine every now and then. A couple of spices I always keep on deck, really great for digestion. Cayenne, number one, I have a full bottle at home, so I'm not going to pick this up today, but another very important one is turmeric. Turmeric is fantastic for inflammation, and I just ran out, so I am going to grab this bottle of ground turmeric. I like to do turmeric shots as well. They don't have turmeric shots here at this particular juice bar. Turmeric, ginger, and cayenne are definitely my wellness shot of choice. I particularly love cooking with turmeric and then with cayenne, you really only need a dash or two. And the last one I'm picking up that we also just ran out of is cinnamon. Another one that you definitely need to have in your arsenal is apple cider vinegar. I haven't even done my shot yet today, so you guys can watch me experience that when I get home from the store. And you can dilute it with water and add some lemon and add some stevia, but I'm the kind of girl that just likes to get it done. So I pour it in a glass and I chug it down. Aloe vera juice. So I actually wait till I get home to show that to you guys, but aloe vera juice is fantastic, not only for the gut and for digestion, but it's really good for your skin too. The last thing that I'm going to pick up is a probiotic. It's really important that you do switch the probiotic that you're taking every so often. I have found a couple that I love and that work for me. This is one of them. It is by Garden of Life and it is the Once Daily Women's Probiotic. This one has 16 probiotic strands. It supports women's health, it supports immune system and digestive health. I take one of these a day. Little pro tip, your probiotics have to be refrigerated. That's what keeps the cultures alive. So if you get a probiotic and it's not refrigerated, you definitely want to look for a different and a better option. All right guys, so my celery juice is ready. I got a 32 ounce bottle and I drink about six ounces a day. So this should last me a few days. I got my ginger shot, cheers. So I am back home and like I said there were a few things that I already had at home that I didn't have to grab at the store that I wanted to show you guys so I will go through each one of those. The first thing that I have right here is a 16 ounce cup of bone broth. Now this is different than your 
typical chicken stock or beef stock that you can get from the grocery store. You can make bone broth at home, but it has been researched for years to have really great natural healing properties for the gut. It's something that I just recently started incorporating. There's plenty of recipes that if you have enough time, you can make it at home. I usually do around four to six ounces of it a day. I'll just heat it up in a little coffee mug and sip on it like tea. Next one here that I've been using for years now, probably a couple of years, I've I've been incorporating this every day into my diet and this is aloe vera juice one thing that's really important about the aloe vera juice is that you want to make sure that it is cold pressed and that it's not from concentrate there are other types of aloe vera juice that probably tastes better than this one but they're packed with sugar I do four ounces of this a day next one here that I did show you guys inside the store but I already had a giant bottle here at home is apple cider vinegar with the ginger shots that's one thing Thing that I feel like the more you take them the more you start to enjoy them so that I think is something that becomes like an acquired taste however apple cider vinegar is definitely not that case I've been using apple cider vinegar for many many years now and it literally never ever ever gets easier of my daily shot poured in this glass right now but I'm gonna wait until the very end of the vlog to take it because I want to actually be able to talk to you guys a digestive enzyme so I did show you guys probiotics inside the grocery store I do one of those a day and then I also have been using digestive enzymes for years as well I do a capsule before my three largest meals usually and absolutely definitely before anything that I know my body may um, have difficulty digesting and this brand is MRM Digest All and you can get it on bodybuilding.com. The next thing, L-glutamine powder. So a lot of you that are into fitness probably think of L-glutamine as an aid for recovery and this is very true. A lot of your BCA and amino powders will have some L-glutamine in it. L-glutamine is also basically like a band-aid for your stomach lining. It helps to repair the small intestine. Doing about five grams a day is gonna be really, really, really beneficial for you. It's flavorless, so I will sometimes pour it in my oatmeal if I'm having oats in the morning. You can mix it with your BCAs, put it in your coffee, honestly anything. It's flavorless. Just getting in those five grams a day makes a really big difference. Huge tub, bodybuilding.com, very affordable and definitely very helpful. Cheers. Ugh. Awful. It's so worth it. <laughs> so that is going to conclude day two of Vlogmas. My eyes are watering, but my digestion is on point. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, I'm definitely here to help. Please comment below, leave your questions below, and I will catch you guys tomorrow in Vlogmas day three.